Hi, this is your host of Lim Bhartia and welcome to a brand new episode of our series TFIR topic of the month aka T3M and this month's topic is platform engineering is DevOps there and today we have with us Alan Clark governing board member of the Open Mainframe project and also member of CTO office and directory of industry initiatives at SUSE. Alan, it's great to have you on the show after a long time. Thank you. Yeah, it's been a long time. It's great to, great to talk with you today. How would you define platform engineering as a term in the context of open mainframe or mainframe? Okay, so main, you know, mainframe, when you say the word mainframe, it comes with a lot of preconceived ideas, right? Uh, it makes it kind of an interesting conundrum for today's developers. So they... They have these notions of old dinosaur, but yet at the same time, they recognize that it's a platform that's very robust, it's very secure, and it's very sustainable. So the reality is, and if you look at the market, the mainframe is growing. The modern mainframe is actually a key player in today's architectures. What kind of evolution, I mean, technology, a lot of? Uh, technologies in the open mainframe space, which is kind of not only modernizing a lot of mainframe technology, but also attracting a lot of modern developers towards that, which also means that the culture, the community is also evolving. So if I ask you what kind of evolution you're seeing when it comes to labels like DevOps in the mainframe space? We're seeing an evolution with DevOps, right? So the, the key with DevOps has been the ability to bring about communication and uh, collaboration, right? Those are the key things about DevOps. So when we talk about DevOps, I'm seeing DevOps evolve. But the key things like collaboration and communication are never going to go away. Those are key. The whole goal of, of DevOps has been to deliver software more quickly and more, relia more reliably, right? That's real life, and that's not going to go away. So, so how software gets developed, how it gets processed and deployed is going to continue to grow in importance in the future. So the key word here is evolution. I want to just go a little bit uh, to understand the the practices, disciplines, you know, when we talk about DevOps, platform engineering, SREs, how does the life cycle of an application look like in the play, uh, open mainframe or mainframe world so people can actually find some connections, some relations there. Hey, this is how application developed and deployed and run there. It's very much the same. In fact, a lot of developers today don't even realize they're, they are uh, working on a mainframe um, because we have the modern architectures that they're used to, right? Cloud native and microservices architectures are there on the mainframe. So this enables the mainframe to actually integrate with the other platforms. And so together, I can build a comprehensive and tuned infrastructure where I can put the workloads that best fit my need. Uh, one more thing that we hear a lot about, and it makes actually even more sense in the mainframe space is developer experience. The fact is that uh, no matter what uh, what you're doing on modern businesses, you've, you're trying to solve a problem for larger you know, folks, and that's why I created a business. So writing that big business application is critical. Of course, running it, securing it, all the life cycle is also important, but creating that is important. So can you also talk about, uh, I mean, mainframe, I think, kind of boasts of that experience, developer experience, the importance of developer experience, and how how is that experience still there even when folks talk about DevOps where you're also a developer and also your operations team? Right, so, you, so you've got both, right? So let, let's talk about, in general, a little bit what the mainframe has to offer. Why would I want to include it as part of one of my targets for, for my architecture, right? One of the first one is its ability to scale up. So DevOps has always been about rapid deployment. As my scale goes up, you know, I'm deploying more and more broadly, that becomes complex. So the ability to scale up on a mainframe is one of the things that is very well known for. Secondly, on the operations side, think about, I've got all these workloads I wanna consolidate. Particularly if my company is looking at things like sustainability, 
then workload consolidation becomes very critical to my to my endeavor, right? So saving electricity, saving power, cooling space, saving time and energy of, of my developers, right? Uh, this is a win for for putting part of your workloads on the mainframe. Then we talk about a, another case here to think about is, is the whole hybrid cloud story, right? Flexibility to put my workloads where they make sense. So that mil um, that ability, mobility, that's the word I was trying to think of. So mobility and flexibility, the ability to move things on-prem and off-prem, that becomes very much clear, uh, a reality. Then I think one big key here for the developers to think about, right? So I talked about automation and flexibility, but key for developers as well. And part of that architecture is making sure things are still safe and compliant and secure, right? So one of the big topics we're seeing today is around confidential computing. Um, the mainframe happens to be a key platform for confidential computing, all the way from ensuring that I've got a secure execution environment, all the way from my, um, uh, my Linux operating system, right, up to the mechanisms that are ensuring that that Linux operating system hasn't been tampered with, right? So I've got, and that is coming from a trusted source. So I'm, I'm secure at that level. I can ensure a confidentiality, integrity of the data, I can ensure that the data in use is protected, right? And, and beyond that, it's a safe environment. It's a quantum safe environment. So these are key. Talk a bit about uh, the impact of platform like Git on the open mainframe uh, community. So Git is, is there just like any other platform, right? So the, the purpose of Git is to automate and streamline your software development and your delivery processes, right? So Git in particular is used as a delivery approach where you leverage it as a source of truth. So it's a declarative infrastructure and applications use this as their single source of truth. It doesn't matter whether you're on the mainframe or on any other platform. Same source, same source of truth. Are there any discussion going on within the open mainframe uh, community in terms of these uh, disciplines related to developers or if there are any specific initiatives which are there once again to attract these developers, DevOps, platform engineers, SREs? Yeah, so the, the, the paradigms are the same, right? The tools are the same. That's the beauty of it is, is by bringing over these modern tools, Kubernetes and and uh, zero trust security architectures and so forth, right? The tools are the same and the developers uh, don't have to differentiate them differently, whether they're on the mainframe or on an x86 or, or on a risk platform or whatever, it's the same. And they should treat the tools and leverage the tools as the same. Ellen, thank you so much for taking time out and talk about this topic. And as well, I would love to have you back on the show, but let's not keep that big gap between our <laughs> meetings. Thank you. Yeah, hope to see you soon.